Now, if you haven't been on my Facebook page lately, please check it out. It's not enough to just say, we're going to delete Facebook. I'm going to get off it. Screw it. Forget it. Get me out of here. Because Facebook would like nothing more than for the conscientious rabble-rousers who they've been keeping out of other people's feeds anyway from... Uh, they, they want you to go away quietly. They, they would love that. So I have a, an auto post that goes up over 24 hours that says, hashtag leave loudly. And tells people to go find me on Steemit. Steemit.com, get off. Centrally controlled, censored, corporate, mainstream, social media, get on blockchain-based social media. There are plenty of alternatives out there. Of course, I am a big fan of Steemit.com. Facebook partners with Globalist Atlantic Council to interfere in elections around the world. If you didn't need one more reason, from technocracynews.com, the Atlantic Council, this is from a TN editor, there's a note before the article starts, the Atlantic Council has been a trilateral commission-dominated think tank since 1973. Its current board of directors is still riddled with members of the commission, including Brent Snowcroft, Chairman Emeritus, Henry Kissinger, the man, the man who said that military men were like dumb cattle to be used as pawns at our foreign policy. Oh, excuse me, dumb, stupid animals. Paula Dobriansky and Joseph Nye, Facebook's alignment with the council is right in line with the trilateral commission's goal of implementing technocracy throughout the world. Facebook has partnered with the Atlantic Council, whose members include arch-globalists like Henry Kissinger and Dina Powell, to protect free and fair elections around the world. And you go, oh, no, 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 no. Now, this is, you know, I have, I have a hard time as a libertarian deciding how much Facebook is, uh, is a government agency. Now, yes, I understand it's, it's a privately owned institution. I understand it, 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 it is publicly traded. It is subject to many federal laws. It is empowered by many of those laws. It is working directly with the interest in, in globalism. It's like Mark Zuckerberg has created a special post for himself as the you know, head of Facebook, which is now effectively a quasi-government agency because it is collecting intelligence. It is working with people like this who would manipulate governments throughout the world. It is enjoying corporatist advantages, not just first to market, obviously second to market after MySpace and who knows how many others during that time that, uh, that, it, that it built on. I, I, I'm not trying to be cute and be like, oh, well, Facebook, it's, it's a government entity because it's, uh, no, like, it, 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 it's, you know, I don't really care about the semantics, but it is funny how it has become, to, to some degree, a quasi-government agency. Facebook announced earlier today that the Atlantic Council will provide it with real-time insights and updates on emerging threats and disinformation campaigns from around the world. In other words, Facebook will trust a globalist think tank to distinguish disinformation from the spin and sloganeering that characterize virtually all democratic elections. From Facebook, quote, Facebook will also use the Atlantic Council's digital research unit monitoring missions during elections and other highly sensitive moments. This will allow us to focus on a particular geographic area monitoring for misinformation and foreign interference and also working to help educate citizens as well as civil society. We just so happen to be educating them with the things that fit our globalist agenda, right? The thought that a globalist think tank might be biased against certain politicians around the world and this might affect their opinion of what counts as misinformation does not seem to have occurred to Facebook. <laughs> oh, oh, it just didn't occur to us that uh, we might be messing with elections when we're doing exactly what we're saying needs to be fought against here. No, this is, this is all part of, I want to say a plan, but that's giving them too much credit. Yes, they plan, they plot, they scheme to consolidate power, to control, to centrally plan, all of these things. But this is, this is a tool that is, is going away. Now, maybe now this is where the, the, the future predictions with technology are, are not so clear. And, and this makes perhaps... Uh, the, the fight against Facebook more relevant the than the fight against government because it's quite possible that Facebook could survive all this, although I highly doubt it, that I, I really am very confident that at some point, at least, blockchain-based uh, uh, social media will, will displace all of the, the centrally controlled versions. And I understand Steemit 
even as, as a model in and of itself requires a certain amount of central control. Uh, at, at some point, we're going to get to the next level where, and, and this might wait until we have AI to do the programming for us. I don't know what we can say. Give me social media that does X, Y, and Z, and it just spits out the, the, the programming and, and you know doesn't even need a, a website to do it. It's just here's an app, and anybody can have it, and it works on everything. Okay, fine. But Facebook seems to have more potential for longevity and, and institutional momentum than, than government itself at this point. Anyway, uh, the Atlantic Council, this is for just one example in the story, has branded Hungary's anti-globalist Prime Minister Viktor Orban as a far-right autocrat who runs a quasi-authoritarian regime that bears little semblance to the democracy that allowed it its accession to the EU and NATO. The council described Orban's recent landslide victory in the Hungarian election as a rallying cry for action for Western democracies to, quote, protect and defend democratic values through Facebook propaganda, I'm sure. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.